Hey everyone, it's Don G. Corleone here, and I'm here with a... I'm here with a brand new trailer reaction, and this reaction is going to be for a movie that's coming out next Halloween, or ironically, I'm, we were talking about Halloween, but it's because it's a horror film, but it's a horror film that's going to be set during Christmas, and it's for a sequel I am really excited for. Before I get into details as to what it is, yes, we are going to be in the Christmas background for, for this month and next month. And uh, you like my new sweater, guys? I finally got myself a Christmas sweater that you're going to see me wear when I review Christmas movies. Or whatever Christmas movies I do have time to review. But, yeah, originally today's video was going to be a movie review for The Killer or Killers of the Flower Moon. But since this teaser finally is not a theater-recorded one, we're going to watch this teaser and do a reaction to this teaser instead this time. So... This teaser is going to be for the Terrifier 3 teaser that premiered at the Terrifier 2 re-release. And um, they have confirmed, um, and Damien Leone has confirmed this is going to be set in Christmas instead of Halloween. So, that being said, guys, let's get started in 3, let's just turn it up a little bit, 2, 1, play. There's footsteps. I'm already liking it so far. It all looks calm and peaceful right now. Yep, putting the presents under the tree. Little girl, I'd probably go back to sleep if I were you. <laughs> that must be the infamous opening scene that's already so controversial. Happy Christmas from Art the Clown, guys. Anyway, guys, that was pretty much my Terrifier 3 teaser reaction, and I gotta say, this might easily have to be my most hyped horror film that's coming out right now, along with The Quiet Place Day 1. Now, you know, for those of you who obviously know or are familiar with this channel, I love the Terrifier movies. Terrifier 1, I think, is also a great throwback slasher. The second one was surprisingly a shock. It was easily one of my favorite horror movie of 2022. And easily my third favorite movie of 2022 in general. And I can't wait to see where this goes. And, um, and I'm already liking it so far because Damien Leone, the director, has said that this movie's going to go back more to the tone of the first film. There's going to be less, like, goofy fantasy elements in this one since some people didn't like that. It's nice. And, um, I heard Hollywood literally, some Hollywood studios wanted to touch this movie. But they quickly backed out, like, little shits or chicken shits because apparently the opening scene was too controversially graphic. Who cares? Like, and Damien Lewis said, fuck that, I'm not giving you to Hollywood. I'm not letting you ruin my creation because Terrifier is his creation, not Holly Weirds. Like, but Terrifier, like, even though it's an original franchise, it gives better slasher fan service and some much better slasher stories than most recent revivals today, like <coughs> Scream. The, can't wait to see where this goes. Like, 
And for those of you who thought, like, Terrifier 2 is too graphic for you guys, like, if you guys thought Terrifier 2 was grisly with its bedroom kill, like, Damien Leone has also said that Terrifier 3 is going to be much more brutal and it's going to have a more graphic opening scene than the whole bedroom kill from Terrifier 2. So yeah, he said this film was going to be much darker and more violent than the second film was. It's going to make the second film look very G-rated. So I'm really hyped for this and um, it's going to be coming out around December. No, it's going to be coming out October 25th, 2024 next year. And um I'm glad we got a release date, but I'm kind of I kind of prefer it would maybe have come out in November instead because it's going to be a Christmas movie and not set on Halloween this time. But that's just my guess. But it'll be nice. It'll also, be nice to get a good Christmas horror movie because we don't really get a lot of those lately. I mean, we've had Silent Night, Deadly Nights, we've had Black Christmas, a 1974 original movie, but some of the ones that have, we have ones that have recently come out but and they have not been really good so far I didn't like crop I did see Krampus guys I didn't like it you could check out my review for that I didn't think it was that good of a movie because I just thought the characters were very unlikable and really stupid in that movie so yeah I, I was not a fan of Krampus I mean it is from the director of trick or treat but I would have rather we got a trick or treat sequel instead or that Krampus just be an, an horror anthology. Would have been a better idea. And um, I absolutely hated the burning passion out of the 2019 remake of A Black Christmas. Yeah, or as I call that, Black Wokemas. So I really hope we can finally get a good Christmas horror movie again. Because the ones we've gotten recently have been really terrible. But I have faith this is going to be better than those movies. Like, I can't wait to see when this comes out, but... There's just nothing else I can say about it so far. So, because they haven't really released any plot yet. All I know is that it's going to be set during Christmas. It's coming out next year. Sienna is definitely going to be back. She's in the cast list, and so is her brother Jonathan. They're both going to be back in this one. And the sole survivor of the first song, the mutilated girl Vic Victoria, is also going to be back in this movie. And it's going to play a more prominent role. Because they did kind of tease her... They did kind of tease her villain role in the credit scene of Terrifier 2 where she gives birth to Art's head. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with her character in this movie. And um, the things I also do want, though, I don't want this to be two hours, please. Let's not make this one two hours because love Terrifier 2, but even that did not need to be two hours long. Maybe 108 minutes would have been fine, but some stuff could have really been taken. Some stuff felt like it went on a bit too long and just could have been taken out. But it doesn't ruin Terry Fire 2 for me. Alright? I can't wait to see where this goes. And when it's when this releases on October 2024, I'm still gonna be there. Till then, guys, that'll be it for this reaction. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this, want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe to Don G. Corleone.